So, I'm out here. Came to see this calf that was born with a butt defect. You can see his head is not right, but his limbs are not right either. They're all clubbed in, kind of like dwarfism. The front and the hind limb, it's not straight. He's alive, he took a breath, um, but unfortunately he's not going to be viable. We're going to have to euthanize him. Um, it's not always a happy day. It's a really interesting case though. I've never actually seen a calf like this before with both a cranial defect and limb abnormalities. Actually, he has a good spine. Um, it is a bull. Uh, we don't want it to suffer, so I'm going to euthanize it humanely and then I'm going to examine it again. I might show the second part in the video. It was born alive, but it would not be viable to survive, unfortunately. We make hard by. We're going to see a calf that was born with a deformity. Unfortunately, I told the farmer, we're going to have to euthanize the calf. But I'm going to fly the drone. Let me show you. I'm sweating hot. Look at my face. Look at it. Can you see? Ah! They're already on their way down. Let me show you how far I have to go to meet this calf. Eh? <laughs> so we had a situation where this calf was born with atrogryphosis as well as hydrocephalus. Now these are congenital conditions and it may have happened really early in pregnancy. It is really surprising that the cow was able to give birth to this calf in one piece and alive. Now atrogryphosis is a condition where the joints are basically stiff and connected and then the limbs are positioned in the wrong way. Whereas hydrocephalus is where the calf has a really big head because there's either fluid in the skull or fluid in the brain. Now, when you put both of these together, this calf would not be viable for survival. So, I had to go all the way down the hill to see it and in turn euthanize it. But, don't let me tell you, have a look for yourself. Yep, so, I'm going to go check the calf. I almost lost a finger there. I swear I did. The camera now fell in fear. Let me put the drone away and go check on that calf. Yep. I'm pouring wet. You saw the hill we have to go down. Um, so this calf has been born with a double deformity. I've seen a developmental deformity with its head as well as a leg deformity. So I'm going to show you this if I don't fall down the hill. Um, yeah, so these things can happen. The cow did make a good calf before that. So the farmer knows that she was, she is a viable cow. They're all the way down there. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to euthanize this calf. If you're seeing this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think. They're all the way down there, let me show you. <laughs> They're all the way down there. That's the good calf from the year before that the cow made. Whew. Um, check back in when I get down the hill. Yep. Sometimes it's not all dog and cat. <coughs> Sometimes you got to jump down a hill. I think that's them down there. No, that's them over there. I see them anyway. It's a nice heifer in the back. It's life of a farmer. So as a veterinarian, imagine yesterday I was on a boat putting a satellite tag on a sea turtle. The day before that, I was doing surgery on a dog in the mountains. And now, I'm walking down a hill to go see a newborn calf with a deformity. 
really dynamic veterinary life. We've been a vet for 10 years. And every time something new comes around, it keeps the excitement. <sighs> Let me don't talk too much. Back down the hill. It's a nice pumpkin patch here. This is a bull. He's totally terrified of me. Had an abscess on his foot. Ooh. And his leg actually. Are we friends today? How are you doing big fella? You remember me, yeah? You having a drink? <laughs> so that bull don't like me or no? Come and show me the leg now. You want to boot me? It's okay boy. Now I'm under deformity. Look at this fella. Beautiful bull. We're gonna be friends one day, yeah? He said, nope, not having it. This is the little fella. He born this morning? A morning old. Only a few hours. Look at the defect at the head. Yeah, anytime you see you have this kind of hydrocephalus thing, it's like flu water in the head. But if you had a couple with the legs, all the legs and thing there, no. So it's not just the water in the head, it's spine, everything defected. Ooh. I don't think I ever see a calf with that. And he's alive still. Still managed to take his first breath. Um, well, yeah, we got to euthanize it. At least the mother. But well, the mother look okay. And the calf should make up the hill good. I'll open the mouth just now and tell you the age of the mother. I've given it some medication. But let me show you. So the normal head, coming close, let me see this head. So a normal calf, even if the front part, oh, you quite coming out there. Even if this front part would be the normal way for a calf, the head should come like this. But with this big head, it's gonna have a brain inside of there. It's probably massive. But the neck was good and some of the spine is actually okay, it has a mild scoliosis. But what you have to see with these legs, now this calf is not in any pain anymore. Um, but the legs cannot extend. So plus they're all clumped at the joint, kind of like dwarfism, but so it cannot straighten. Same thing with the other side, on the that's the next front leg. It's actually locked at the joint. And then you go to the back legs. Not only does it have the same defect, but it's all clubbed in. So this calf would have never been able to walk. Let me see if he has testicles. Uh, his testicles were not done as yet if he had them. But you can see both back legs with the same problem. He does have an anus. He does have a prepuce. But he doesn't have viable limbs. Uh, it's all just sad, but sometimes it happens. Nothing we could do. We're gonna euthanize the animal so that it doesn't suffer. And hopefully she doesn't make another one like that. Another thing I forgot to mention is the development of the teeth. Now to put this in perspective, this calf um, came out a few hours ago. That teeth is way too developed for a newborn. Oh, the mom is trying to attack. Yeah, but um, even the development of the teeth, everything just doesn't add up. Unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah. But you must always take the cow by the nose. The bull by the hand and the cow by the nose. Oh! Oh, little cow. Ah. 
She don't want to give me the nose there because she know what I'm trying to do. Open your mouth. I, I think we're gonna be friends now. Peace and love. Yeah, you like me now? You stressing? Such a lovely bull. Alright, we go end it there. No need to stress you out too much. See the size of leg and thing on him? Yeah. He give me a little challenge and he find well I don't bluff, I don't run. So you think you know if he had to trample me or not? But I ain't afraid you. Ooh, watch your profile on this side. Boy, that's a nice bull. How much years here now? Four years? Yeah, we start to turn man now. You see how you open different? El Toro. El Toro Blanc. No, El Toro Negro. Well, well, well. Because it's Sunday, he found me a pumpkin and a bag of pepper. Well, well, well. I do you a nice little fella. And if I might give me a pumpkin and a bag of seasoning pepper, or well, you should have given me an elevator to go up this hill. Anyways, that will be it for this one. Ah, you see the nice bull that I had a bit of trouble with the last time. But well, that's it for this one. Don't forget to hit, give some support, hit the like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't as yet. The channel's been doing really good lately. Thanks again for all the support. Gonna keep trying. I have to go back up that bank. Gonna keep trying to give you. I think I just made a hole in my pants. I could feel the breeze. I like that pants. What was I saying? This is going the blue pass section. Yes, 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 sorry. You leave a comment, let me know what you think about that. But defect, if you've ever seen anything like that in cow, whew, with a head that wrong, I would have expected some cyclopsia, but she had two eyes. So, anyways, I'm almost back to the car. Well, I wish I was a little closer, but I'm gonna need my hands to walk up this hill. Almost fall a few times and tore a hole in my pants. That's it. Thanks again. On to the next. Can I make this up? I'm gonna put some things away. I made it up the hill. Look at me. Oy. Let me show you this. I'm sure if I squeeze this shot, you get water out of it. But the sunlight is good. Anyway, on to the next one.